Joining me right now is Henry A. Kissinger, Senior Fellow for U.S. Foreign Policy at the Council of Foreign Relations, Ambassador Robert Blackwell. Ambassador, it's good to have you on the program this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. First, your reaction to what we'll hear in a few minutes from Secretary Pompeo. Uh, I support it. I think that uh, the administration's effort to bring extreme uh, pressure on the Iranian regime is exactly right. After all, it's destabilizing the entire Middle East, or trying to. So I uh, support it. It'll cause, of course, some bilateral tension with some of the countries, uh, China, India, perhaps others, but it's the right move. And yes, you're right. China, India, and Turkey are among the Iran's top customers, and they had been expecting to receive the renewed waiver to continue to buy oil from Iran. So now that they get the news, or maybe they already got the news, they're not getting that waiver. What kind of disruption does does happen after that? Well, they'll either take it seriously and uh, end their imports of Iranian oil, or they'll be sanctioned. And uh, since uh, the sanctions would hurt, let's hope that they uh, come around. But they've had many months to prepare for this, and the countries that uh, we've mentioned haven't made adequate preparations. It's time they do and end the uh, import of Iranian oil, because the alternative is is that eventually um, either Iran mends its behavior or the uh, American actions will be uh, beyond sanctions. So let's hope that these countries come around. Now, we are already seeing a market reaction in uh, anticipation of this. So crude oil is up 2.5%. Right. Brent crude is up 2.5%. But the White House is saying that gasoline prices won't soar because the Saudis will step up uh, in, in terms of supplying uh, oil to these countries if they need and gasoline. So the president says he's deciding not to reissue significant reduction exceptions. When they expire in early May, it's intended to bring Iran's oil exports to zero, denying the regime its political source, its principal source of revenue. That's going to hurt Iran. But what happens in terms of gas prices? Is that going to hurt the U.S. if prices spike? Uh, there's a surplus of the international energy market, oil market now. So you'd expect the markets to react the way they have. But I think they'll settle down. And uh, I don't think it's going to have an uh, effect on American gas prices. And I think it's not going to have an effect over a longer timeline on the uh, price of oil.